guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to grow a small account for swing trading. Now, this is one of the most common questions I get asked on the channel is, Carter, how do I start swing trading? How do I grow a account with $100 to $1,000? That is by far the most common question I get asked. So I felt like I should make a video really explaining on how to do it. So some of the things we're going to be covering is the strategy I use. We're going to be talking about how to find stocks, some tips and tricks and everything you must know about swing trading before you guys start. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. So guys, let's jump into it. If you guys get anything in value out of it, hit that like button and subscribe. So guys, let's go. All right. So for those of you that don't know what swing trading is, swing trading is when you buy a stock, you hold it for more than a day, but less than a year. Now, the reason why you you know hold it for more than a day, if you buy and sell a stock during the same trading day, that's a day trade. That's a way different strategy, tax bracket, mindset, strategy, all that stuff. Now, if you buy a stock and you hold it for more than a year, that's considered a long-term investment. That's when you start to care about fundamentals, revenue, and all that good stuff. On average, I hold my swing trades for about two weeks. Now, now that we understand, you know, the broad idea of what swing trading is, you know, what are some tips and tricks you must know? So the first thing I would highly, highly recommend is education. Now, education is the most important thing with any industry you're in, but especially swing trading, right? The way I always looked at trading or swing trading is, you know, if you, if you were going to become a doctor, how long would that take? You know, it would take years. It would take years of education, practice, hard work. Trading is the exact same way. If you're gonna be an engineer, how long does it take? It takes a long time. Now, the common expression I always like to say as well is the more you learn, the more you will earn. With trading, that's the exact same scenario and I would highly recommend just absorbing as much information and content as as possible you guys will not regret it you know invest in yourself invest into yourself you know buy those books buy those courses buy those you know things that you think it may help you even if they cost 10 20 bucks that can make you thousands of dollars down the long run now the second thing you must know is a trading style that works well for me may not work well for you you always have to understand that you know all types of traders are different, right? So the strategy and mindset I would recommend is if you guys can pick bits and pieces from different traders or different, you know, education material or stuff like that, you know, and make a strategy that works well for you. Now, the third thing that I would highly recommend is treating trading like a business. Now, what does that mean? You know, that means investing back into it. That means getting a better monitor. That means getting better computer, better software, you know, investing in it. You know, if you're running a million dollar business, you're going to have overhead like rent, like utilities, like software, like paying your employees. Trading, it's very, very similar. You're going to have, you know, uh, you're going to be spending money on research. You're going to be spending money on different tools, different software, like trade ideas and stuff like that. You know, where maybe starting out you may not need it, but in the long run it will save you guys money and it will make you guys money. And the last thing that I would highly recommend is paper trading for about a year. And I know a year seems like so long, you know, but you all you always have to look at trading as a long-term long-term investment, long-term. Most people have this idea that day trading and swing trading is this get rich quick scheme and it's not. If you're looking to get rich quick swing trading, leave. Get out. Don't don't even do it. Don't even try to. You're going to lose money. You're going to put money in and it's going to be gone. Now, paper trading works very very well. It's all simulated simulated money, so it's not real and this is the time you developed your craft this is the time you practice different things and build up that confidence one thing that i would highly recommend you know a lot of people get discouraged you know starting out you may only make a dollar or two or three dollars but the only thing that's separating you when you're a successful trader from making a thousand or two thousand dollars on a swing trade is share size if you're making a dollar a day you know with your trading style and strategy the only thing that's separating you from making a hundred or two hundred dollars a day is one thing and that's share size once you have a strategy that works well for you you're going to be set all right so now that we have a good understanding of 
you know, tips and tricks and you know, some little little things about what swing trading is. Now what I want to do is actually turn to the computer and talk about how I find stocks. Alrighty guys, so what we're going to be doing is talking about how I find stocks for swing trading. Now, you don't just randomly pick and choose different stocks you swing trade. You need a way to find them. So the site we're going to be using is finvez.com. This is a stock scanner. So this allows you to scan for stocks that meet your criteria. So what we're going to do is actually break down Finvez so you guys can understand the software and how it works. And the beauty of it is this is all free. You don't have to pay for it. Obviously, they do have have you know a premium version that cost a couple bucks a month maybe down the road i would i would recommend investing into that free version because it's all real time but starting out you guys can 100 succeed with using the free version i'll put links down below so you guys can check them out but guys once you guys get loaded up here on finvez here you guys will notice this is the home screen so what we have is the dow jones nasdaq s p 500 all up and loaded now this just tells you just the general idea of what the market's doing today so you'll notice we've had a green day in the market going here we have the s p 500 map so once we click on that we'll see different sectors that are performing good or bad so you'll notice down in here the financial sector has not been performing as well you know we've seen a lot of banking companies lately you know getting some shaky water here with the closure of a couple of banks but it's always good to understand that because one you could look at it as a possible reversal two you could look at it as or maybe we just stay away from it the second thing i always like to do is go to the groups tab the groups tab is super important because this will tell you different sectors that are performing well and maybe different sectors that are performing bad so maybe stay away from a couple so you'll notice in the past day we had utilities up past week we had you know communication services one month performance communication services three month communication services so you know maybe that's a growing sector something to put in your mind now the second or the third thing we do is go to the screener this is your bread and butter this is where you guys find stocks this is how you guys filter and do all that stuff so what i always like to do is go to this all tab this all tab We'll put the descriptive, fundamental, technical, you know, all of these little buttons here all in one place so you don't have to like click between them. Now, the next thing I would do is go to price. You know, starting out with a small account, you really want to capitalize on share size. So what I always like to do is I'll go underneath, you know, 20 or 30 bucks and you always can adjust it. All of these settings that we have, you know, are adjustable. So you'll see we still have, you know, about 5,000 stock left, which I don't want to click through every single one. So we're going to change some stuff. That is for sure. We're going to go to average volume over 500,000. Now, what what this means is this is how many how, how many people are buying and selling the stock you want volume volume is very very important if you find stocks with no volume there they'll be dunzos it's very hard to trade now the next thing here is the relative volume which is a little different this is just the overall demand for the stock the higher up you go so like over 10 are going to be stocks that are very 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 volatile so they're going up and down at rapid rate that's more for like day trading getting in and out of positions quick as far as swing trading what i do is you guys can go over 0.5 or even sometimes 0.75 we'll go over 0.5 and just see where it takes us so we still have about 1200 stock left the next thing here is the pattern so the top three patterns that i would highly recommend are horizontal support and resistance horizontal support and resistance strong then we have channel up channel up strong and then what we have is trend line support strong so what i always like to do first to go is to go channel up strong so you'll notice that we went from 1200 stock down to 10. so now we go to charts what we're going to look for is a stock that it's appreciating and sold off down to near and around a support line so something like a x t a you know something like this we'll click on it and what we want to do is look for some sort of opportunity so at or a x t a we'll pull it up here on our chart so a x t a we'll pull it up and see if there's some sort of opportunity here so looking at this how do we break down a chart it's very simple we're going to draw out resistance we have some resistance right here we have some more resistance right here and then support it does look like we have some support down in here you know, with getting buying pressure there we do have some more support right there so 
that's just drawing this thing out very, very easy. So what this is looking like, like this old resistance is starting to act as new support, which is very, very common. So there could be a possible swing trade hopping in right now at 28, setting your stop loss at 26. So you're risking $2 to possibly have this come up to 30. So you're risking, you know, you're risking about $2 to possibly make $2, which is a one to one risk and reward, which is okay. Ideally, you look for two, three, four to one risk and reward. You know, the higher up you go, the better outcomes you will you'll have. So for me, yes, this could be a good good trade, especially starting out. But we'll, we'll continue to look. Now, like I mentioned, we're looking for a stock that's appreciating, so it's going up, sold down to a support line. So, you know, something something like KW here looks very interesting because we had that appreciating. Sold off does have some support here at 15. So we'll pull it up. We'll do this one and then we'll move on to ones that I've recently done here. So we got KW. The only thing I don't like is that downward trend, but we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit and see. So you'll notice here, we'll draw out support. Boom, there, we have some resistance. We got some resistance right there and right there. So there could be a possible swing trade hopping in near and around 14, trying to sell it at 17. That's pretty much what you do. In the grand scheme of things, you're looking for opportunity. You're constantly searching. Every single day, you're finding opportunities, you know, going through this. And if you don't find anything there, you guys can go to horizontal support and resistance. And you're just looking for stocks that are appreciating and that sold off down to a support line. Now, some things you guys want to stay away from are stocks that are selling off or have a downward trend. It's very hard to judge, you know, if a stock is at a reversal, if the stock's just naturally selling off. So for me, I always find it easier finding a stock that's already having buying pressure. So something like channel up or even trend line support strong and just looking for stocks that have that appreciating. So something like this looks actually a SC looks really good because the stock already has buying pressure. You don't have to worry about, you know, no buyers because it already has that upward trend. So what we can do, this one's a little different. So what we have here is actually one that's a little different. We have that resistance and then support down here is, is li a little different, right? We have a ton of support near 12, but on the flip side here, it does look like the support as well is also on this trend line. So that right here looks very interesting because you'll notice that every time that this trend line, you know, that the price hits this trend line, we get buying pressure. So here we get buying pressure, here buying pressure, here. Now this could be a great opportunity to hop in at 14, setting your stops even just right below 14, you know, at 1390. So you're risking about a dollar to possibly have this come up to 19. So you're risking a dollar to possibly make $5, which is a fantastic risk and reward. So, and all you're doing is just finding these on Finvest, you know, finding these opportunities that work well. You know, and this is the strategy that's very, very beginner friendly, looking for these, drawing them out, and then just start paper trading them. Paper trading, get any in and out of these positions, you know, finding these opportunities getting in out you know and the beauty of this broker i'm using is mumu is they have paper trading right down here you guys can paper trade it, there's no hidden fees or anything like that it's a fun account i would highly recommend it. i'll put it down below so you guys can sign up now that we understand that let's now move on to some of the swing trades that i've done all right so you'll notice here we have google up and loaded now the reason i wanted to talk about google is because this is a bread and butter stock right this is a fantastic fantastic stock because look at the support it has a ton of support here at 87 more resistance here at 105 so what i did is i took a swing trade near and around a support and the reason i knew it had supports because we got buying pressure right here once twice so i hopped in near and around 87 and sold it right here at that first dip down at about 99 risking about three dollars to make ten dollars which is a fantastic risk and reward and it sold off back down to 88 bucks 
and it moved back up to 105. So, you know, just basic support and basic resistance. You guys can make high quality, high quality swing trades. And you'll even notice more support right up here, support and resistance. And this is why, you know, obviously it's going to have trend breaks, but this is why you set your stop loss. So if that's just say you missed the first one and, and the second one, then you make money on the third, you make money on the fourth, boom, and then it tanks down. You hop in right here at 105, tanks down to 103. You sell your, you sell out. You set your stop loss to cut your losses early because if you continue to hold, you, this thing continued to rally down. Now, there was some dips back up where I'm sure you guys could have sold it at you know, a break-even point, but that's not the point. The point just setting that stop loss so you guys are ready, but there were several other chances and opportunities to make money. I missed that first one, got in on the uh, second one here. But guys, this is a, just one example of hundreds that I've done on how to swing trade, finding these opportunities you know, to make some money. A recent one that I recently was in was on Rumble. Rumble, textbook, you'll notice here, we had this huge dip down to about seven bucks, came back down to seven. This one here, um, or came back down to seven, yep, and we had this huge spike up all the way up to $9. So I virtually, we'll go ahead and change it because it's hard to look at. We'll go to, the, so looking at it here, you'll notice we had a ton of sell off down to $7. That $7 hit down in here, rallied up all the way up to $8.50, sold for a profit. You know, these, these are just two examples on how I swing trade guys, you know, and some strategies, how to grow an account. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to stay happy guys, stay positive and stay safe. Take care everyone. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.